So what is a cron job? A cron job is a task that will be run in a set interval over time. So it's something that will be run over and over and over again. And it's a very useful concept in backend development that most new devs don't really understand or learn. It's something that I didn't even know existed when I needed to know that it existed. So I spent all this time trying to figure out a way to work around it and eventually discovered it through Heroku background workers until I finally figured out that this is a real concept. It's just something that no one is actually taught because it's kind of it's more niche, you don't need it until later on in the life cycle of a project, but when you do need it, you really, really need it. So, like I said, a cron job is something that's executed on a set interval. So let me show you an example of how to actually write one of these. So I just opened up a basic node project here. Um, I, it should be in TypeScript, I know, but it's been a long day. I've been working for like 12 hours, I still have to go to the gym. You'll bear with me. I have this basic node project up here. So what I'm going to do is I have imported this cron package here. So what we can do is we can do cron.schedule. And then the first thing we need to pass in is a cron expression. So a cron expression is a standard thing that comes from the Unix world. And what it effectively is, is it's a, um, a way of telling your function when it needs to execute. So I'm going to pass in star star or star space star space star space star space star and then pass in the actual function that will execute, which is just going to be console.log function. And then now we have this schedule. So why did I put in star, 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 star? So what each of these stars actually indicates is these all indicate the point at which you should execute on a certain interval. So this first one's gonna be minutes. And since I have a star in here, that means it's gonna execute on every single minute. This next one is gonna be hours, so every single hour. This next one is going to be day of the month, so every single day of the month. The next one is gonna be the month itself, so one through 12 or star for every single month. Then the final one's gonna be the day of the week, zero through seven with zero and seven both being the same as Sunday. So when I have this up here, this means that it's going to execute every single minute. All right, so we had those first five. So what I did here is I added one more. So this last star is actually with the seconds place. So what this is saying effectively is every single second, we're gonna run this function. So I go down here and I do npm run start, we can go ahead and do this, and every single second we're gonna get function printed out. So you can kind of imagine how this would actually be useful. Imagine you have something that needs to happen at the end of every single day. My use case was insider viz, where at the end of every single day we need to send out an email to everyone who's on our paid plan to say, hey, or here are the daily trades. So we send out that email, but we need to do that on a certain schedule, and we can't just make an API call every time we wanna do it because we can't just be there every day to do that. So we need an automated way to handle this, so what we do is we just spin up a cron instance, which will every which will then have a schedule to where it executes at the like, I think it's like 18th hour of every single day because it's in a different time zone or whatever. But regardless of what it is, it'll execute on that set interval every single time we get that function run. Or even another example for insider viz is actually fetching the forms. We fetch those on an interval of every minute. So every single minute we execute that cron job. So you can kind of see how different, um, different apps are going to have different use cases for this, but they're very, very useful and an important concept that you should know. Okay, so what I have right here is I want to show you real quick a more advanced sort of example of how to use this. So instead of just running it on every single interval, what we can do is we can specify certain selectors on here to where what I have is this will run on the first 30 seconds of a minute, but it won't run on the second 30 seconds. So I added this new date.getSeconds to illustrate that. This will get the um, current amount of seconds in the minute. So we go ahead and do npm run dev, uh, or start again. Uh, let me check the time. It is currently in the second half of the minute. So in 20 seconds, this will start executing again. Okay, so it is about to start executing again. As soon as we roll over to the next minute, you should start to see one, two, three, so on and so forth. So this is gonna execute on that interval and we can extrapolate this out and do this on any of these other um, intervals. I can't really illustrate that in the video, but you get the idea of where you could do this on the first five days of a month or the first three days of the week or so on and so forth. So you can just look at the documentation for this to get a better idea of it. But the point is you can set this interval to run whenever you want it to. So now that we've got this working, let's go ahead and actually just put this in production to sort of illustrate how this would work in real life and how you would actually use this. It's pretty easy. So what I'm going to use to put this in prod is going to be railway. So I'm going to first do railway new. I'm going to do railway init. And then uh, I don't need anything. So I'm just going to put empty project. Project name is just going to be cron example. And now that we've created this project, all we need to do is rail railway up. And now if you look at this right here, you can see I have my cron example right here. It's being deployed. 
And now it's going to take like 10 seconds here to play logs. And just like that, you see it is working. So we are currently on the first half of a minute. It's going to execute these first 30 seconds, and now it's going to sleep for a while. Then if we come back in 30 seconds, it'll run it again. So all you need to do to put these in production is just host them like a regular web server. Put it in a DigitalOcean droplet, or better yet, put it out on Railway or an EC2 instance, whatever you want to do. These things are super simple to put out. They're super simple to host. No networking to worry about, just... Put something out there, handle some background job, 